Hi you guys, today I'm going to show you how to message somebody on WhatsApp without having added them into your contacts. So there's a couple ways to do this, the first of which is called a short link and I'm going to show you how to do it right now. So have your phone ready so you can follow along. Let's jump right in. So the first way we're going to do this is with short links as I said before. So open your browser and you're going to type in this link. HTTP colon two forward slash w a dot m e forward slash and then you're going to enter the number of the person you want to message remember that you do have to include the area code of the person you're trying to reach but don't include any plus or minus symbols just the number followed by the phone number okay once you have that typed out you'll click go and it's going to bring you to this page and it's going to ask to open this in WhatsApp, which you want to do. So you'll click open and then it's going to bring you right to WhatsApp and start the chat. So now you can message this person through WhatsApp without adding them to your contacts. The second way is a little bit more tedious, but it is more helpful in the long run. This is creating a shortcut in your phone to message that person. So first off, you're going to want to open up your shortcuts app on your phone. Once you're here on the front page of shortcuts, you're going to go to the plus symbol in the top right corner and then you're going to add action. And then in the search bar, you're going to search ask for input, ask for input. It'll pop up there. So you'll select it and then it's going to bring you to this prompt here. So click on text and you're going to select number. So you're going to ask for the number with and then here you're going to create a prompt. So the prompt is basically either something you'll search in your phone or something you'll ask Siri for. So you could make it the name of the contact. You could just call it simply phone number. For this example, I'm going to call it phone number. First step is done. So we're going to press done. Now we're going to go back up to the top right corner, hit the plus symbol. We're adding another action. For the second one, we're going to set a variable. So we're going to search set variable. It's going to pop up. And so we will select that. So for a variable name, you're going to type out the same thing you put before. So either that contact name for me, it'll be phone number and leave the input. Now we'll click done. Okay. Lastly, we're going to add a URL. So we're going to go back up to the top right and hit the plus symbol add action, and then go back up to the search and we're going to search URL. In this space, you're going to put this URL in. After the equals, you're going to put the phone number of the person that you want to message. Again, you want to include that area code without any plus or minus symbols. Once we're done that, you're going to hit open URLs there. You're going to click that. And then we're going to go to the top right and click done. Okay, so now this number is added into your phone and you're able to trigger the chat to open by either clicking on this open URLs. It's going to start that chat for me. You can also access this by using Siri and using that same prompt that you typed in before. So that contact name, phone number, etc. And that will open up the chat for you. For a bonus tip, I'm going to show you guys how to play around with the wallpaper in WhatsApp and the alert sounds. So first off, you're going to want to launch your WhatsApp and then click on the contact. Then you're going to go up to their name, click on that and scroll down to wallpaper and sound. And if you want to change the wallpaper, you'll choose a new wallpaper. And here you have three different options for themes. You can either click on bright and you'll have a whole bunch of different bright colored backgrounds you can change to dark, solid colors. You can even add photos to make it the background. Once you have selected it, you click set in the bottom right. And if you go back to the chat, now our chat has a wallpaper set. Okay, thanks so much for tuning in, you guys. I hope that this was helpful for you and that you can use this information and pass it on to somebody else who needs it. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.